So I'll show you how I'm installing one of these. These are called Duro vents. They're supposed to help air to move in your attic. Uh, just in case some of you don't know, this, this uh, Duro vent, what it does is it allows air to be able to flow into your attic from your soffits. So if you use like blowing in insulation, uh, something like that, uh, you don't want it to completely cover up all your, all your soffit area. You want some of that to be able to come through. Because what happens is as your attic heats up, the hot air wants to keep moving up. It, hot air wants to go up. Heat wants to move up. And so what happens, it, it's, it's trying to push up and the cooler air tries to replace it. And so by having this vent in here, it allows for that. And uh, it just helps to keep the attic a little cooler. And especially down here in the deep south, that's something you're, you definitely gotta be, gotta be interested in. All right, well, I've got all of these in. Um, I still need to go to the store and get a couple more, but I'm about 90% of the way there, so that's good. Um, definitely wanted to get this side because this is where the kitchen, uh, the, the bathroom is, and so I um, will be working in here quite a bit over the next couple days, so I wanted to get this stuff done because I'll be working on the exhaust fan, the lights, um, getting ready to put the ceiling on in here and uh, getting ready to do the insulation, spray foam insulation. And so I wanted to get this done. Still need to put in the bat insulation in there to cover up these holes. So I'll probably work on that next. Okay, so you can see the first one that I've done here. Seems to do pretty good. I'm kind of concerned about this cavity right here, but I'm not seeing any light coming up like you can see right here. So, I don't know, I think it's okay. And then once the, the blown insulation comes in, it'll start packing up against this some and start moving up this way. So I think it's gonna be okay. I'm pushing against that some and it's not going in any further. So I don't know, it seems like that's gonna work. So just put it in about like that, pack it in there a little bit, put this in there, pack it in there a little bit. There you go. Now the thing I am concerned about is am I, am I blocking the other side of this where we want the air to come up? That's a really good question. I would hope not. I mean, how am I gonna really know? I mean, I don't know. I guess I could get up there with a ladder, look down and see if I can see light. If I can, then I know I'm in good shape. Uh, if I can't see light, then it means I'm probably blocking it. Tell me what you can see. You see any light? So as you can see, uh, uh, there's a little bit of daylight that is coming through. So I think it's gonna be okay. 
And that's one reason. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to go ahead and do all of these. So if something happened to where there was a little bit of blockage in a few of these or whatever, that, that I've got more than enough to compensate for any errors that are made. Um, so uh, on this first one over here that I did, this one right here, I may pull those out just a little bit more because what we looked at was this one here. And uh, even though I can see down through there, I can see some light, I can see that there is uh, some air that's going to be able to come up. On the other one over here, I didn't do the same thing, but I, I'm just a little bit more nervous about it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and, and pull those back about an inch. So that way uh, there's a better chance that there is some um, air going to circulate up through there. And then also, like I said, as that blown insulation is put in there, it'll pack up against that a little bit and help it not to come out if uh, there's a windstorm or, you know, a strong breeze. Right now I've kind of packed them in there a little bit and uh, I'll go ahead and pull them out just a little, little bit more so that, uh, that there can be air moving around. Okay, so I've put the bad insulation, bad insulation in. For this one here where there's a hole, the exhaust fan is going to be coming out this way. So I went ahead and left that one that way. But the rest of these I went ahead and sealed up. I noticed a huge difference in the, the heat that was coming in. I also did it in here as well, as you can see. And it didn't take very long at all to do that, and it'll probably make a big difference on the heating bills and the cooling bills, heating and cooling bills. You definitely want to do something like this bef uh, with new construction. I mean, you don't want to wait until the house is there and then try to do this, even though it's possible. It's a lot easier to do it now. And so it just seems to make sense to do it. Uh, if there's any doubt at all, well, should I do it or shouldn't I do it? Go ahead and invest the money and do it, and it'll pay for itself in a short period of time.